Sky Dogs. My name is David Thomas. I live in a village called Lartington near Barnet Castle, County Durham. We've been here 11 years. Football started in 1965 and very forced to love to retire in 1988. So I had a, a lovely career. And it was the year 2000. I realized I was having a little problem. Went to see consultants. I discovered that I had glaucoma. And I always thought that you, to be a guide dog owner, he had to be totally blind, but how wrong I was. My guide dog name is Hannah, and I've had Hannah for coming up five years. Before I had her, I would get in situations where there was lots of crowded people I didn't feel comfortable, but now I've got Hannah, she's changed my life. My favorite part is the garden. Clever girl, forward, good girl. All my garden is done myself. It's a big garden to look after and people say, well, how do you do it? I'm passionate about my garden and I invested in a robotic mower and it saved me four hours a week and it's just amazing. Good girl, good girl. I recently acquired two beehives. The bees have been the most incredible thing at this moment. They're very active in and out collecting the pollen. In another week or two, we'll be hopefully extracting some more. Great hobby. It's my pride and joy, my pudding really. We have it all here, particularly for the grandchildren. Very fortunate to live in a place like we do. The greenhouse, we had that erected last year. My wife Brenda ordered it. And we have tomatoes in there and peppers. There's my friend Harry, coming to the vegetable garden now. We have, have the sweet peas. I've got red cabbage, Brussels sprouts, cauliflowers and cabbage. And I've never ever been able to grow cauliflowers. For some reason in the 11 years I've been here, I've had the most incredible cauliflowers. So it must be the, the soil here, the conditions, the climate. We have the sweet corn on the far side of the vegetables uh, with Sparky, <laughs> uh, my other dog. And uh, yeah, all looking good, all looking good. Now pergola. A special place to come and sit down. When the pandemic hit us all, winter and summer, there was always something to do. It keeps your brain active. It keeps you, in my case, very positive. There's always something to do. You must enjoy it. If it comes a chore, gardening's hard work. I cope with it because I'm passionate. And as long as I can do it physically, I'm, well, physically mainly, I will just continue as normal as if as if I haven't got a problem. We've got the, the crab apple trees and as you can well imagine in the spring, they're an absolute picture with blossom. This apple is called green sleeves. It's a bit like a golden delicious. This is my favorite apple in the garden. It's called apple red. It's a most wonderful apple, very succulent, very sweet. And then we have a pear here, and that variety is called Jarganelle. And normally a very sweet, very good, but not produced a lot. I need Gardener's World to help me. <laughs> Tell me where I'm going wrong. So, as I said, we've had, a, I think, a lovely tour. And as I said, this is my garden, and I hope you have great pleasure and enjoy it like I do. Many thanks. Come on, good girl, good girl, come on.